Where's my little baby? Where's my little baby? Got the door closed here. And I have a space heater here, and I have another two upstairs because the furnace is dead. I had somebody look at it yesterday, the day before, and it broke in. It's from 1998 or 97, so it's about time anyway. And cinema don't care because it's, ooh, it's kind of cold down here, but the main levels are much warmer. Yes. Do you want to play a little boo boo? Do you want to play? Yeah, we should get a new furnace Tuesday, so that'll be good. Not exactly a planned expense, but it's always good to have a little bit of move out set aside just in case the inevitable occurs. Oh, do you want to play with Claudia's fish, buddy? Oh, it's falling. Huh? Want to play with something else? Yeah? His ear is looking really, really good. He had that ear injury not too long ago, so we, we kept them inside. I think I might have mentioned this in previous video, I don't really know for sure, but we kept them inside for two or three days and he absolutely hated it. He was so upset, but we don't want him to rub up against something bad or get into another fight or something outside. What's this in your back, buddy? How'd you get wet? Is that for me in the shower? So we kept him inside for two or three days and he only had one accident. I think he was just so pissed off he just wanted to tell me. So he uh, pooped a little bit outside. He pooped in the litter box and then a little bit outside of it, right outside of it. So no big deal. I think cats do that as a form of protest sometimes because he was really upset that I wasn't letting him outside. So anyway, that's okay, little boo-boo, isn't it? Everyone does it. Yeah, occasionally your daddy poops outside the litter box too. Yeah, just kidding. Oh, do you want to play with the bats? I hate to think about what the electric bill is going to look like after running those three space heaters for a few days. But it's really, at this time of year in Michigan, you need to have some source of heat in the house. If you don't, you'll be in big trouble, huh, buddy? Yeah, big trouble. Oh, no. Oh, no, broken furnace. Oh, no, broken furnace. Oh. It is all apart. It's, it's an old Lennox. Not Linux, but Lennox. And I think they're going to replace it with a Rude. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I think it's R-U-U-D. You know. He gave me the bad news that the furnace is dead. And then he gave me a ballpark figure how much it would cost. And it was... I was trying not to act excited because it was cheaper than I was thinking. And then I talked to some other people. It sounds like it's kind of middle of the road prices, which is fine. It's a nice local company. I like to support local companies, and they've always been kind. They've been here twice in the past when I had issues with air conditioning. Air conditioning in Michigan is definitely a, more of a luxury. You don't really need it. It's nice, especially if you have a lot of people over in the summer. It's too hot. And this house stays pretty cool. But when you lose heat in the winter, that is a serious problem. You can freeze pipes. And unfortunately, people... I think it was Texas that had an, an event that it caused the power to go out, and a lot of people were without heat. Because it doesn't get that cold in Texas, I think the cold weather caused the outages. And because it doesn't really get that cold down there, a lot of people were not prepared. Just they didn't know any better that it gets really, really cold. And unfortunately, people passed away from both the cold and also people were trying to run their cars in places they shouldn't. Perhaps they were trying to run generators inside of a building, which you should never, ever, ever try to do because generators are... They have combustible engines, and you just don't do that. It's dangerous. It's dangerous, little boo boo, isn't it? Dangerous. So we'll have a brand new furnace, and it's one of those situations where, you know, as they say, you buy once and you cry once. You buy a new furnace, and you're a little upset because it's expensive, but you won't have to worry about it for a very long time. I don't know how long. I, I doubt it's going to last as long as mine did. You know, from 1990. It was inspected then, I don't know how, it was probably from 97. So 1997, 1998 through 2021. That's over 20 years, I don't think they're supposed to last that long. I bet the new one's gonna last 10 years. The newer stuff just seems not to last very long. Maybe it's designed obsolescence, I don't know. Yes, I had to rearrange some items down here, but I apologize. We gotta, I gotta move a shelf to and a bench because they need maximum amount of space to work on the furnace and replace it. Remove and replace, R and R, yes. Oh, that's a ladybug over there, buddy. It's a ladybug. Oh, are you trying to squish it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Too bad Cinnabon was a little furnace technician. Probably just pay $600, get a new unit, and then he can swap it out himself. Yeah, wouldn't that be cool? Look, the furnace person even left the wrench behind. Yeah, maybe that's a technique, so they don't get other quotes. Yeah. What, what kind of wrench is this, buddy? What kind of wrench is this? It's made in Germany, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, see? Made in Germany. Cobra. Kipix Cobra. I've heard of the brand. Look, buddy, you gonna fix my furnace? You wanna fix my furnace? Look, buddy, look. Yeah, you fix the furnace. Oh, it's a broken. She broke. 
They said the heat exchanger went down. Look at him, it's all stretched out. I don't know what the heck a heat exchanger does, but I bet it exchanges heat. There's a furnace I replaced this not too long ago, but this doesn't really come with any furnace anyway. They took this off and they inspected it and said, the heat exchanger's busted. Oh, I think he hears Claudia upstairs. I wonder what she doing, little boo-boo? What's she doing up there, huh? What's she doing up there? Okay. I wonder if the new furnace will have the same filter. This is the cover, the Lennox. This is the filter. You're supposed to replace the filter. I think every three months, I do it way more than that. I buy cheaper filters, so it's not as financially crazy, but this is the inside of the furnace. She broke in. She broke in. Uh-huh. Broke in furnace. That's okay. They break in time. Probably should replace the water heater, too. It's old. I fixed it a few weeks ago. But it's loud, but it works, you know, so maybe I'll keep it. Ooh. You want a lightsaber fight, buddy? <laughs> maybe he wants to play on the steps. Ooh. I don't remember if I mentioned this in a video yet, but last Monday was December, as of the recording of this, December 27th, and I got up early because I had to go to work, and I drove to work. It wasn't the greatest conditions. I got there, and like, I was a little bit late, so I was worried I'd get a little bit of a talking to because I got in there late, which normally never happens, but you know, you always worry about that. I got into the parking lot. I'm like, you know what? There's something wrong. There's nobody else here, and I went into work, went to the building, kind of, like, it was like in a movie. I'm like, hello, hello, and there was nobody there. Except for the snowplow person, I talked to them, and they also didn't get the memo or didn't listen. And it was a day off, so I, it was like a kid having a snow day, so I went back home, and, and uh, it was kind of funny. The next day I went into work, and they kind of were teasing me about it. And actually, yes, I did go the next day, and then the next day I had to stay home because the furnace person was here. And I almost did the same thing. So, and the next Monday from now, which is uh, January something, we also have the day off. And I'm the one that put that on our internal company portal, and I just forgot because it was months ago. So I almost did the same thing. I almost showed up to work again. So it's kind of nice having a four-day weekend, huh, buddy? Yeah, four-day weekend. Ooh, look what I found. Another lightsaber. Boop. Are you done playing for nobody? I can leave you alone. Whoa. Cinnabon has been great with Claudia. At this point, I think he likes her a lot more than he likes me, which is kind of cute. But maybe that's because he's a boy cat. Claudia was saying that the girl cat might like me more just because that's just the way things are, I guess. But I don't know. His coat's kind of darker now. I think it's because he's not in the sun as much. No, no. He's a darker kitty. Another cat's doing well, getting it food. Still thinking about what to do with it. I don't want it in this house thinking of bringing it to a very nice no-kill shelter and there are some out here give it a nice loving home that cat's very social i think it can find a very nice home so that's what i'll probably do but in the meantime uh put straw in the house so it's much more warm than with the blankets oh you hear something buddy so the cat's very happy right now but i think it'd be a little happier if it had a home so i've asked around a few people that have cats or have mentioned to it i'm not like trying to like advertise it you know or anything like that but like friends or, or friends of friends that I assume are good people have expressed a little interest, at least one. But now we haven't found a home for him yet. Cinnabon can't wait to see them go. I'm sure he, he's not really liking that cat, huh, buddy? You're kind of an only child, aren't you? Yeah, that's okay. Anyway, thank you all for watching. We wish you have a fantastic and safe rest of your day. It's almost New Year's, so it's New Year's Eve. That's the recording. I don't know when this will be released, but we'll probably do a New Year's video. Anyway, talk to you all later. Bye-bye.